Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. Today we're going to review the Man Crates Hot Sauce Making Kit. When our friend Sonia told us she gifted her boyfriend Matt with this for his birthday, I immediately asked if we could film an episode about it. They gracefully agreed to come over and test it out in our kitchen. Let's get started. Meet Sonia, well-being program coordinator for a major healthcare company, and Matt, who has many guys' dream job, beer sales consultant. They've been together for about eight months now. I asked Sonia why she chose this gift for Matt. Uh, well, I knew Matt really likes hot sauce, and so I was looking for something creative and fun for us to do, and I thought, uh, my friend mentioned man crates, and so I thought, what a great opportunity to try it out and see what it's like, and had it shipped to my house, and here we are. So, uh, what did you think when you got this gift? Is it the perfect gift for somebody like you? It was, yeah. I really enjoy different hot sauces, and trying to find different flavors and things like that. So being able to do do the process myself and kind of make one from scratch was really exciting. Have you ever made hot sauce before? I, I haven't, no. But I've always been intrigued when I buy them. I wonder, like, oh, how do they make this? What goes into it? That kind of thing. According to the website description, the Hot Sauce Making Projects Kit is a do-it-himself, gloves-on experience for the high-stakes heat seeker who refuses to let any other man get the best of him. Sonia, does that describe Matt? So, Nailed it. Yep. Yeah. Great. You. If your buddy made some hot sauce and you ate some and and you were writhing in pain on the floor, would you be <laughs> most angry because he no, uh, no, put you there? I or? would be like, oh, this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> and then I would be like, I wonder if I can make something hotter that will put him even more on the floor. Hopefully, no one's going to end up on the floor today. Let's check out what you get with this kit. It arrives in this sturdy box. The card holder on the inner lid is a nice touch. Here's what's inside. Bottles, gloves, funnel, chopper, instructions, and most importantly, three hot pepper purees. Carolina Reaper, Naga Morich, better known as Ghost Pepper, and Habanero. We probably won't need the rubber gloves since we won't be handling any peppers directly, but they could come in handy for future sauce making experiments. Of the three recipes included in the instruction booklet, Matt chose Tropical Torture, a good choice for a cold Minnesota winter's day. We have all the ingredients assembled. Matt had a little trouble locating pure passion fruit juice, so we're using a juice drink containing passion fruit as a substitute. The instructions tell us to blend all the ingredients except the peppers. But first we'll have to do some prep work. Here's a nice juicy mango. Sonia volunteers to wield the knife. Our recipe calls for one cup. Next up, Matt shows off his skills by peeling and slicing three cloves of garlic. Then he adds both the mango and the garlic to the chopping jar. Freshly squeezed lime juice will add some citrusy zing. It's also a great hand exercise. At this point, Matt realizes the chopping blade should have been inserted before the ingredients to be chopped. But since he's also an ace mechanic, he uses his problem-solving skills to devise a quick workaround. In go the tangy apple cider vinegar, salt, and a last-minute substitution. Since this sauce will not be heated, I had some concerns that the thick honey might not evenly mix with the other ingredients. So we subbed in raw blue agave sweetener instead. Lastly, in goes a little of the bottled juice. Now we're ready to blend. It says it might take 20 to 30 pulls. I think that's, that's optimistic. Really. Well, stuff is getting smaller. Yeah. In the description, they call this gadget a pole handle food processor. To me, it looks pretty similar to the crank chop, and as seen on TV product pitched a few years ago by Vince from ShamWow. Amazingly, it does a pretty good job. Now it's finally time to put the heat in the hot sauce. The hot pepper purees in this kit are from Mad Dog 357. You may have seen their sauces featured on the YouTube series Hot Ones. These purees are almost all pepper, with just a little bit of vinegar added. Wonder where I've heard that before. Gotta have a taste of the seven Just enough to hold it 
Anyway, time for Matt to taste test these three purees, starting with the mildest of the three, habanero. Matt handled that one like a champ. Yeah, it's yeah. like a pretty standard habanero. Now on to the Naga Morich. Yeah, a little pretty small amount of this one. Okay. Matt tried to play it off, but the ghost definitely made him break a sweat. So a little more heat right off the start, but nothing too overwhelming. Well, there's, there's a little more there. <laughs> <sighs> yep, that's a little hotter. Yeah, oh, the hat's coming off. <laughs> Are you, do you need, do yeah, you need, that's... do you need something? So what, need, did, just, what are the ingredients in here? Do you here? need something to eat? He wisely decided the reaper puree would be best experienced diluted with the other sauce ingredients. Since I'm very reaper experienced, I asked if I could taste it myself. Whoa, that's about as hot as you can get without using an extract. It's a little burning there. <laughs> Delicious. I could eat this every day. Now, Matt has to decide just how much hot puree to add to his sauce base. The recipe suggests three teaspoons of the habanero and one to five teaspoons of the Carolina Reaper. In go the three teaspoons of hob, and he wisely opts to add only one teaspoon of reaper to start. Once again, it's time to Okay, first taste test. Not too bad. No. Not spicy, but fruity and... What do you think? I think a little more heat. More would heat? Be, yeah. Would be good for my tastes, I, I know. Uh, yeah, okay, well I won't be eating that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In goes one more teaspoon of Reaper. Now, the final blend and taste. Good. There, there's, there's a little more heat there to it. Could go even more, but I think that'll be a good start. Heat through this bottle and with this batch, and then try, try more after. Check out that hiccup he hoped we wouldn't notice. I guess it hit him a little bit harder than he's letting on. But don't feel bad, Matt. It happens to all of us. Now, time to bottle. And the process is completed. Let's do a final check-in with Sonia and Matt. Okay, so you're all done. You, you've made the hot sauce. And what do you think? Was it a fun experience? I, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. it was a great time. Mm -hmm. You're um, going to do it again? Uh, absolutely. And now that we have you know, we made the first one, kind of know what we can tweak and change a little bit. What to, to add, expect. Yep, add to a little more, take a little away from this one. and Just a good baseline for making a first hot sauce. Here's to some tropical torture. Cheers. Many thanks to Sonia and Matt for sharing their first hot sauce making experience with the viewers of Seven Pot Club. The Man Crates hot sauce making kit is a really fun gift, but be aware you still need to buy most of the ingredients separately. And unfortunately, if you'd like to gift someone with this kit, you're out of luck for now. It's currently out of stock on the Man Crates website. There are many other hot sauce making kits available on Amazon, or you can assemble your own by buying the various components separately. You can also purchase the set of three Mad Dog 357 pepper purees separately on Amazon. They're a great shortcut to making a quick homemade sauce. Or if you're like me, just eat them straight from the jar. I'll include affiliate links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications as we post new episodes. We now have Seven Pot Club logo t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more, all in a variety of colors. If you're interested, please head over to sevenpotclub.threadless.com. And for even more Seven Pot Club, 
follow our daily updates on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.